Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I got a Naomi ROM working and what you need to do for a standalone Flycast emulator. Now it might work in RetroArch like this too, but I'm not sure if it's programmed the same. So you're just going to have to just check it out yourself. <laughs> Anyways, let's start this tutorial. So first you want to grab your ROM and I can't show you, I can't show you that. But I can tell you that I'm using a MAME 0.218 uh, series of ROMs. And this is the Azumanga Daio uh, Puzzle Bobble ROM that I played on this on the video uh, on YouTube like a couple weeks ago. Alright, so what you want to do is uh, make a folder, right click, go to new folder and call this Azu Manga all right and then take the CHD which is the ROM and put it in there all right now what you want to do is every other file that's not the CHD you want to right click don't worry about this screen go to add to archive with WinRAR go to zip but okay now you can delete the pick or other files and you wanna double click this slowly so that pops up then you wanna type azu manga like that and that's your that's your ROM right here now um, to show you it in action <laughs> What you want to do is first go on your Xbox, uh, launch up the emulator first, make sure it generates all the files that it needs because otherwise it's going to be empty. All right, close out of this, go to FTP, leave all the settings default and go to start. You see that IP address right there? That 192.168.2.3? Now go back on your PC. Use uh, pretty much any FTP program. I use FlashFXP or FileZilla. Go up here. Go to Quick Connect. Uh, right here you type in the address, but I think I have one saved. Yeah. So FTP, IP, Leave this default anonymous 21. That's it. That's the same settings on other FTP apps too. Just, just this. This is all you fill in right here and everything else is default. And hit connect. Alright. Go to local folder. Go to um, flycast public 3. Yeah, because I didn't update it yet. Local state. <laughs> and move over Azumanga zip and Azumanga folder and you want to transfer that or you can play it off the external but I just wanted to show you what it's like so I'm going to play it from the emulator side itself alright now you're gonna need BIOS to play Naomi ROMs as far as I'm aware so open the data folder Oh, they're already there. Well, <laughs> anyways, move all these bios over to here. Same way. Just highlight all these and then right click and hit transfer. Alright. Now, now that you got your ROM there, let's switch back. Okay. Uh, back to the Xbox. Alright. Now, you can stop this, so you don't need it anymore. Alright, and then start up Flycast, and there it is. Go down to it, press A on it. There you go, it's launching up now. 
There's no sound because I don't have the sound on right now, but uh, it's not the point. The point is to show you that it works. <laughs> so that's why there's no game audio. I just don't have it hooked up right now in the recording. So hopefully that uh, answers some questions that you y'all are having. I'm not sure um, a good ROM set, but just use MAME whatever version I said and it should come with the files hopefully they're kind of hard to find sometimes so you're gonna have to look around but uh, yeah that's how you get Naomi working on Flycast standalone at least so I hope that helps you and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video remember to thumbs up the video subscribe hit that bell notification so you can see my latest videos and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.